Business Idioms Big Picture A Wide Perspective A Broad View of Something On Point David's presentation was on point, concise, relevant, and accurate. Against the clock, forced to hurry to meet a deadline. Burn the midnight oil. I'll be burning the midnight oil tonight, but I guarantee I'll finish the paper before class tomorrow at nine. Many people who are learning English are doing so for business reasons. And anyone who has ever been in a business meeting where English is the language knows that the high-pressure world of business generates lots of idioms, and that these idioms may cause problems for ESL students. If someone tells you to fish or cut bait, what are they talking about? How was fishing involved? So it's important to know these. Business idioms change rapidly, but the ones we've compiled here remain very common. For the most part, they're used outside the business world as well, but you'll find them useful in business and financial contexts. Are you ready? Business idioms. Leadership. Big picture. A wide perspective. A broad view of something. Don't get bogged down in the details. Keep the big picture in mind. The man. The boss, authority in general. Did you know our old Indonesian teacher is working for the American military? I wonder how she likes working for the man. Call the shots. Make the important decisions in an organization. There are all kinds of meetings where policy is discussed, but it's really Bob who calls the shots around here. Changing of the guard. A change in leadership at an organization. There's been a changing of the guard at Volkswagen since the company was hurt by a scandal over measurement of emissions. Movers and shakers. Influential people especially in a particular field. If you're looking for a tech job, you should go to CES in Las Vegas. All the movers and shakers in consumer electronics will be there. On point. Good, well done, effective.
David's presentation was on point, concise, relevant, and accurate. Cut someone some slack. Avoid treating someone strictly or severely. Ronaldo has been on the job for only two weeks. It's natural that he would make mistakes. Cut him some slack. Light a fire under someone. Inspire someone to work very hard. When the dean threatened to expel me because of my bad grades, that lit a fire under me and I started to study harder. Rake someone over the coals. Scold severely. My boss really raked me over the coals today about being late to work. I need to buy an alarm clock. Business idioms, schedule, against the clock, forced to hurry to meet a deadline. We're racing against the clock to finish the ad campaign. We may have to work all night. Busman's holiday. A working vacation. I'm going to Mallorca next week, but I'm afraid it'll be something of a busman's holiday. I'm bringing work. Burn the midnight oil. Working late into the night. I'll be burning the midnight oil tonight, but I guarantee I'll finish the paper before class tomorrow at 9. Pencil something in. Make tentative arrangements. Why don't we pencil in the 24th for our meeting? I can probably make it. I'll let you know for sure tomorrow. Back to the drawing board. Forced to begin something again.
the currency devaluation has completely changed the situation and all of our work has been wasted. Back to the drawing board. Eleventh hour. The last minute. Brad will wait until the eleventh hour before starting a project, but he always finishes on time. In the works. Under development. Coming soon. If you don't like the current Honda Accord, be patient. A new version is in the works. Do something by the book. According to established procedure. Why don't you do the programming job by the book for the first few times? Later you can try out your own ideas. Cut it fine. To do something at the last moment. You're really cutting it fine, aren't you? The report is due at noon and you're still working on it. Business Idioms Leadership Put someone on the spot. Force someone to answer a question or make a decision immediately. The boss put me on the spot today and asked me to summarize next year's budget. I wasn't really prepared. Ahead of the curve. Offering ideas not yet in general circulation. Highly creative. Indonesia has a group of young creative mayors who are ahead of the curve in terms of urban management. Cut to the chase. Get to the point. Explain the most important part of something quickly. Skip the preliminaries. I have three meetings later this afternoon. I can listen to your proposal, but you need to cut to the chase.
demand. An accomplished or skillful person. Generally used in the complement, you demand. I made 20 straight foul shots. Who demand? You demand. The powers that be. People in charge. Often used when the speaker does not want to identify them. You want to schedule your vacation for next month? I'll check with the powers that be. After the Lord Mayor's show. Anticlimactic. Occurring after something impressive. The tournament finals were okay, but they had the feeling of being after the Lord Mayor's show. The big upset in the semifinals was all anyone was talking about. To be at someone's beck and call. To be under someone's total command to be forced to fulfill someone's orders or whims. I spent three years at the boss's beck and call. At least he paid me well. Too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Everyone wants to be a leader, and no one wants to do the actual work. Everyone wanted credit for the project and tried to take on a supervisory role, so the project never got done. It was too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Business idioms. Schedule. After the fact. Too late. After something is completed or finalized. Yes, Bob distributed a PowerPoint presentation, but he did it after the fact. We had already heard everything in it during the meeting. Sit on something. Delay revealing or acting on something. That's valuable information you have about the company's stock price. Could you sit on it until tomorrow so I can get some money together?
back to the salt mines. It's time for me or us to go back to work. Well, our lunch break has now lasted more than an hour. Back to the salt mines. Take five or take ten. Take a short break of five or ten minutes. Okay, we've been going at this for two hours. Why don't you all take five while I call headquarters and update them? Thank God it's Friday, TGIF. Let's be happy that the work week is over. TGIF. I don't want to think about work again until Monday morning. Kick the can down the road. Postpone an important decision. Sure, we can kick the can down the road by making minimum payments on the debt. But wouldn't it be better to solve the problem now? In the fullness of time, eventually, when appropriate, after you wait patiently. Cynthia seems completely lost in her new position, but in the fullness of time, I'm sure she'll develop into a fine employee. Call it a day. Decide that one has worked enough on something for the day. We finished two thirds of the presentation and were tired. Let's call it a day and start again in the morning. Burn the candle at both ends. To work too hard with possible bad consequences for one's health. I'm worried about Cynthia. She's been coming in before six and not leaving until midnight. She's burning the candle at both ends. Congratulations! Now you're ready for your next English language business meeting. The other participants will be saying, wow, that person speaks English like a native.